Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're having a lovely day. In the, one of the recent data recovery videos, one of the commonly asked questions is, why do you guys not wear that giant space suit that you see everybody at Drive Savers and Secure Data wearing in their advertising? Where they got the white astronaut suit and they got the face mask and everything else and they're sitting in this weird room that looks like where Intel creates processors. And the reason that we don't do that is because most of what you're looking at there is marketing wankery. The same type of marketing wankery that makes it easy for them to charge anywhere from $2,000 to $3,000 for an iPhone charge port. It's not something that is truly necessary. And if you look at the people that are really renowned in this industry for performing good work for people, whether it's HD recovery services, desert data recovery, $300 data recovery. There are a bunch of people out there that are using devices that are not some gigantic one or five million dollar clean room. So I wanted to prove that today with this new toy over here. This is a P-Track 8525. It sounds like a Geiger counter, but that is not what it is. And I'm like this, even as a nice little certificate over here. Yeah, certificate of inspection and calibration awesome. Don't Google what this thing costs. You'll, you, you may be sick. So I'm going to move this thing around so you can see how it works a little bit. On the side of the bench, we have this, which measures anything from around 1 to 10 microns in size. It's a PMS7003, but this is not really giving a great accurate representation because it doesn't get anything under 1 micron in size, which is what our new toy is for. This over here is a P-Track 8525. It doesn't count down to 1 micron or 0.1 micron. It counts particles down to as small as 0.02 microns, which is awesome. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how this works. I'm going to show you some measurements that we're going to use of this, of what it looks like outside, how clean it is inside, and then I'm going to put it inside of here and show you what it's like within 20 seconds of turning this machine on. This is something you could buy for about $2,500, even cheaper if you get it used, and you could buy the filter assemblies for it for about $800. And we're going to see how many particles down to 0.02 microns in size you're going to have inside of this versus some fancy one to five million dollar clean room and see if this stuff is truly necessary for data recovery or if it is just an excuse to charge you five to ten thousand dollars for something that could be done much more affordably. So check it out. It even comes with this. Isn't it cool? Certificate of testing. Get a nice giant briefcase with this thing. This is inside of the store bathroom after an employee committed an act of domestic terrorism. Outside, I get 5,000. Let's check out a CVS pharmacy. Do you mind if I count how many particles are in here? It's for science. Okay. I'm jealous. You have far less particles than I do. Thank you very much, sir. Of course. Now let's take this tool and put it inside our bench. Oh, that's barely visible. One sec. Camera angle. You're not supposed to tilt this thing. So uh, yeah, I switched it over. So this bench has been off, and I'm going to turn it on in a moment and zoom in. We're at 7,840. Uh, if you could do the honors of zooming in. Mm -hmm. sure. OK, three, two, one. Actually, I should put this in view. Dramatic effect. This is counting down to 0 0.02 microns. If you turn this bench on for one minute, you'll get down to a consistent zero. So pretty. Yeah. Now, this is with the front glass open. This fr we actually have this little piece that we put on here that folds down that'll show you. By me, I mean Chris. To make it easier for me to do this. But 
we have this piece over here that actually folds down just so that there's less area for anything to get in. And we're not even using that right now. Now there's another way to test this where you click sample, where instead of doing it in real time, it's going to count it over a time period and then show you the result. So I'm going to go in there and hit enter so that we can test it in the sample mode. Zero. $5,000 for this thing is definitely not going to the user interface. In backup battery fault. Anyway. Has this moved once over zero for the last 20 seconds? I could keep this thing here all day, and I'm still going to get a zero. So hopefully, I've made my point. When you're looking for somebody to perform data recovery in any of your devices, if you see somebody telling you that you need some sort of $1 to $5 million clean room, in my opinion, this is marketing wankery, and you are going to pay for it. You're going to be paying for their pay-per-click advertising. You're going to be paying for their $50 to $150 per click Google advertising. You're going to pay for their $400 to $900 affiliate commissions that they pay to people that refer them business, rather than paying for the actual data recovery yourself. And as I said, $300 data recovery, desert data recovery, HD recovery services, those are just the three that I know of that have done exceptional work back five years ago when we were referring customers there because our queue was a little bit overflown. They've done amazing work for customers, and there are tons of other small data recovery companies out there that are doing work that is just fine because you do not need a crazy, hyper $1 million clean room to do this job. What you need are experience, you need the tools, you need the information, and a, once you've got something that's as good as this, you're good to go. If you're fabricating processors, if, you have a, if you're trying to create you know, the, the 15th generation Intel core processors, at that point, yeah, you probably do need a crazy clean room. But to do the work that we do, this is more than fine. And hopefully, uh, uh, hopefully spending a few thousand dollars on this thing uh, put, puts this, this myth to rest. I have no idea how, how or why I'm ever going to use this thing again <laughs> outside of making this video. Kind of cool. That's it for today, and as always, I hope you learned something.